Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a absinthe curacao frappe. That's a mouthful, I guarantee you. Now, absinthe is, uh, has been around for a long, long time. Actually, the word absinthe comes from the ancient Greek word absinthon, true story, meaning undrinkable. Well, obviously, it's still around, so a lot of people have found it very drinkable. I'm going to show you a nice way to, to serve this. Now, absinthe is very potent stuff. Okay, so you start out with a cocktail glass. Right? Chill it up. Some water to start with. Right? Now, what you want to do is grab your muddler. I have some ice in here. I've already crushed a little bit. You want to take a few minutes to crush that. Make it very kind of slushy. Takes a few minutes and a little bit of elbow grease. Got your ice properly. Make sure you get some of the slushy out. There you go. Now, you make it in your cocktail shaker. Start out with an ounce of absinthe. And trust me, that's a lot. Cool color, right? Eh? And a half ounce of blue curacao. Very nice. Add just a little, just like a teaspoon, not even, of lemon juice. And just a little more, maybe a tablespoon of orange juice. You want to stir this nice and easy. And you want to strain that over the crushed ice. It's a good looking drink. Mm. Garnish that with an orange slice, and you are ready to go. That is a classic cocktail. Be careful, though. It is very potent. And remember, drinking is great. We want you to have a good time, but driving is not something we want to mix with drinking. So I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Hopefully, see you next year. Take care.